In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the passenger side engine mount on this Volkswagen Jetta. Let's get into it. We're going to pull the battery cover off, just slide it up. There may be some little tabs that you have to push in on both sides. Push those in. We'll go to the negative terminal. Using a 10 millimeter socket or wrench, we want to loosen up this nut. Take the connector off and just set it aside. Pull the engine cover off. There may be little covers over here you have to take off with a straight blade screwdriver and then some nuts or some bolts, 10 millimeter, take those out and then just slide this up out of the way. There should be a panel in this area. This vehicle doesn't have it. There should be some T15s that you're gonna to need to take those screws out and then pull the panel off. So you wanna start by doing that. Now you wanna drain the coolant. There's the drain right here. You just have a drain bucket underneath and then just loosen this up and just drain the coolant out. Close that up. We'll take this passenger front wheel off. Use a 17 millimeter socket, take the lug nuts off. When I get to the last one, I just hold the wheel on so it doesn't fall. And pull the wheel off. We're gonna remove this inner fender well. There may be some push pins over here. Just use a trim tool. Pop those out. And then there's fasteners throughout. We're gonna use a T25 to take those out. Slide that out. Using some hose clamp pliers, just gonna move this hose clamp. Slide that down, and grab this pipe, give it a wiggle. It's slide it off right there. Right down here, you're gonna take an eight millimeter socket, and loosen up this worm clamp. Should be good like that. With that loose, we're gonna slide the tube off. Just give it a wiggle. It should slide out. Just carefully feed it out. If there's any wires attached to it, you wanna disconnect those. This vehicle doesn't have anything connected to it. Twist it. You just keep twisting it and it'll come right out. Watch out for those fuel lines. And disconnect this connector right here. Just push the two tabs down and slide it off. There's just a wire retainer right there. Slide that out of the way. This hose right here, you want to pop this off. Just use some hose clamp pliers. Make sure the vehicle's cool while you're doing this. You don't want to take this off while it's hot. Slide that down and twist the hose back and forth. And slide it off. Now we're gonna take these two screws out using a Phillips head screwdriver.
and slide those out. Tip this up. Underneath, we'll just take this hose clamp off, just using the hose clamp pliers. Just move it down. Just like that. I'll just use a pick, just loosen up the seal right there. Take the bottle, just twist it a little bit. And you can slide it off out of the way. I'm going to take this bolt out right here. Use a five millimeter hex socket. Pull that out. Now, before we move this reservoir, we want to drain the fluid out. I'm just going to take the cap off. Just using a fluid transfer pump. Just suck the fluid out. I'm going to put the cap back on for now. Then we're going to take this hose off. Just use the hose clamp pliers. Slide that down. Wiggle it back and forth. And slide this hose out of the way in the back. If you want, you can put a plug in it so it doesn't leak any fluid. And then with the reservoir still tipped up, just gonna slide this to the front and out of the way. We have an engine brace supporting the engine. If you don't have an engine brace, you can use a floor jack just underneath. And we're just gonna use that to pump up the engine just slightly. Just take some of the tension off the engine mount. With the floor jack, you wanna make sure you stay close to the edge of the pan. You don't wanna be right in the center of the pan. Just use a block of wood. And that's gonna prevent the pan from cracking. So we can just push that up a little bit. That's good. We'll take these two bolts out using an 18 millimeter socket. You can see now the motor is loose from the mount. And then using a 16 millimeter socket, take the two bolts off the back side of the mount. Slide that out, and you can grab the mount, and it comes right out. Now I take the mount, line it up, take the bolts, get those started. Those are all started. Before I tighten those down, I am going to raise the engine a little bit so that it's closer to the mount. Just raise it up slightly. Now I tighten these down. Just go back and forth, make sure you tighten them evenly. Yeah, we'll tighten these down. Actually, I can lower that a little bit. Right there. That's good. 
Now I'll tighten these down. Now you can remove the floor jack. And if you had a upper engine support, you can remove that at this time. Now we're gonna put the reservoir back in position. Just slide that back in place. Just to make it easier, I'm just gonna take this hose right here, get that started. Just so it doesn't drip. And move the hose clamp back in position. Now put the bolt back in, line that up. And tighten it down. Snug, that's good. At this point, if you want to add the fluid, you can put the fluid back in. Put the cap back on, snug it down. Take the coolant reservoir. Line the hose up down below, push that on. And move the clamp. that in place, connect the connector. Push the wires into the retainers. Push this hose on right here. Move the clamp. Put the two screws in. And snug them down. Now slide this pipe on. And if you have a clamp down there, you want to put that clamp back on. Or if you have the worm clamp, we'll tighten that down. Get that lined up. And it's lined up and we'll tighten that down. That's good. Now move this hose clamp over. And that's good. Now I'll put the inner fender well in. Just get it lined up. Get the screws started.
and tighten those down. At this point, you want to put that panel back up and screw in the fasteners. Put the wheel on, line it up. Put the lug studs in. Now I'm going to torque the lug nuts to 89 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Just go around again, double check. Now you want to add the appropriate coolant to the reservoir, fill it up. Then run the engine for about 15 minutes, constantly monitoring, making sure the engine is not overheating. After that, shut the vehicle down, let it cool down, and then adjust the level accordingly. And then put the cap back on. Now we can put the cover back on, just line it up. If you have those nuts or screws, you want to put those in now and tighten those down. Now connect the battery, the negative terminal, line that up. And we'll tighten this down. Make sure that's snug, give it a wiggle, that's good. And put the cover on, line that up. And lock it down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.